Now, you've made a couple of stops in a couple of cities. You've seen some great highlights. What are some of the things that have stuck out to you so far? Well, I mean, the, the first game with Kadra Gray hitting the game winner. I mean, that's our first broadcast. And it was crazy. Gray works on Odro. Ten on the shot clock. We're down to six. Top side for the win. Bam! Onions, baby onions. Get out the salami and cheese, mama. Ottawa has won the CEPL opener. I mean, you know, and I'll say this. I really didn't know too much about the target score other than the NBA All-Star game and whatnot. But I, I'm a big fan now. I can understand why it drives coaches crazy and why, you know, they just say, hey, listen, we might be up by 15. It's not enough. But, but now I'm looking at it from a broadcasting standpoint to engage our viewers. And also, D, you know, at the end of the day, this is entertainment. That's what this, this is what it's all about. It's about entertainment. And what better way to entertain the fans who are watching a team maybe get blown out but then, what we talk about earlier, opportunity. There's an opportunity now in the final four minutes or less to put together something. You have a target score, the clock stops, you've got the uh, shot clock, that's about it, and play hoops. Now, speaking of entertainment, I've had the luxury of rolling around with you, and I've seen the reception and the fans talking to you, and you've graciously engaged with all of them. How has that reception been, and how great has it been to see your Canadian fans again? Well, I mean, it's humbling to say the least because I left 15 years ago, not five years ago, not five months ago, 15. So the fans that, you know, have come up to me have been very gracious, very kind, and also the players. You know, there are a lot of Canadian players mm -hmm. who grew up during that Vince Carter, Chris Bosch, early Bosch run when we were doing games. And so when they were in elementary school, middle school, whatever the case may be, um, you know, they watch Raptor ball. So they, of course, come up to me as players now in the NBA have done, whether it's Tristan Thompson, Jamal Murray, uh, Shea Gilgis, Alexander, Kelly Olenek, uh, Corey Joseph, right down the line where they go, salami and cheese. <laughs> and it makes me feel good to be honest with you. So it's a great segue because the number one question I get is, how did Chuck come up with salami and cheese? How did he come with onions? You've got these catchphrases. Where did they come from? Well, salami and cheese came from a fan who wrote a letter and he said, listen, you know what? I, I, I love watching the Raptors and, and I just can't eat. I'm on the edge of my chair. So when you know that the Raptors have won a game, he can just say, hey, you know, the Raps are going to win this game. So I can grab something to eat. And by the way, I like salami and cheese. So I get the letter and I'm thinking, OK, well, about two games later, um, you know, the Raptors are in front by about eight points with 20 seconds to go. And I said, get out the salami and cheese, mama. This game is over. And I mean, it went viral. So the onions, um, you know, a couple of broadcasters in the States have used it to a certain degree, but I kind of put an extra edge to it. Onions, baby onions, big time onions. And I can confirm that Chuck loves his onions. You did get onions around your rings for lunch to confirm that as well. Yes. <laughs> well, listen, Chuck, I've appreciated your time. If there's one thing that I always tell people is you're very kind and you're very gracious and you're exactly what people would hope you would be. So I appreciate you taking the time to sit down with us and look forward to your call tonight. My pleasure. And, you know, for our CEBL fans, number one, thank you for inviting us into your home. You've got a great young man here who loves this league. And so on this note, we're going to close out the interview with Balsara to the rack, count it, and a foul, Balsara with the hoop, the harm, and one.